What's up guys, it's Tom here again from Tone Wars Gaming and welcome to episode 14 of my Road to Division 1. And this video basically starts off with a little bit of trading guys, just showing you a couple of players that I picked up. Um, I go in now and just have a look through in my formation, in my league and just see what decent players I can find. I come across uh, a Guarine in a CDM position. And I, I get him in just to try him out. I get him in for cheap enough. I think I end up picking him up for about a thousand coins. And then uh, you don't see it, but I picked myself up in Nagatomo for 700 coins as well. I haven't tried him, but uh, I, I, he has a bit of pace about him, so I'm just going to maybe try him in a match and see how I get on with him. And then, uh, I, as you can see here, I'm looking for a striker, so I decided to go with Cavani. I check it, what the cheapest buy now is and if I can get one for cheaper by picking a, putting a bid on one. There was one there that I could have put a bid on for 20 grand or something like that but um, he had half an hour left and I was doing this video at 3 o'clock in the morning guys. So uh, don't ask me why I was doing it at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's because one, a certain video took so long to upload that I had to wait until then because obviously I couldn't play with a bad connection. But uh, I end up picking Cavani up for about 21,000 or 20,500 I think it was. Which was the same as the one with the buy now but uh, you'll see here. I just checked who had more contracts and who had better fitness. They both had the same fitness, but the one that I could have just stuck a bid on, as I did, had more contracts, guys. So I just went for that one. It just made more sense, you know, yourself. So basically what I do now is I put my Guarine and my Cavani in the team. As you will see, as soon as I get Cavani, I put him into my squad. I put Maxi Lopez, who served me well at the start, I put him into my saw him in my club just because I didn't want to get rid of him because I thought he was a good striker and if I didn't like Cavani I could always sell Cavani and get somebody else in or even put Maxi Lopez back in. I also uh, decided to, to take Lorixana off the bench and put Gargano on the bench and then put Guarine in for where Gargano was. I didn't decide to start with Nagatomo just for the simple reason that uh, Radu, I think his name is, I have a left back from Lazio, is doing a job, guys. He's really recommend him, cheap left back, and he's very solid. But uh, then basically, what we do is we go into our first match in Division 4, and we see if we can start this division with a win. I come up against. Burger Boy, I think his name was, with his team name Avenger, and we check out his team, and he basically has a Napoli team, lads. Just uh, one or two exceptions. I think his left back and his right back are the only exceptions, but everyone else is from Napoli, so it has good chemistry. Even though everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of them are out of formation. But we're getting right into the highlights here, and we're starting off with a nice move by myself. Ended with a shot by Hernandez and a save by the goalkeeper. I couldn't decide which player to drop to put Cavani in between Matri and Hernandez because I just wanted to try Cavani out but I didn't necessarily want to drop either of them. So I ended up going with Hernandez and Cavani and just to try them out because they had better chemistry. And there's a very good goal by Burger Boy there, I must say. It was a nice bit of play and a nice finish great true ball by himself but um i think we more or less hit back straight away straight away here guys if this is the goal that happens on do a little bit of tactical play there and then we pass around a bit and yeah we find an opening now in a second there we go and i think we get our goal now yeah we do um, William scored, I believe, which is my CDM, one of my CDMs. He's an absolute beast, guys. Really recommend him. Very cheap. Costs about 500 coins. He's non-rare, obviously, but he's such a beast, guys. Really recommend him for a Serie A team or even a Brazilian team using a defensive midfielder. Really would recommend him. As you can see, Burger Boy's on the tack here. Let's see what comes of it. Nothing. Keeper catches it. Keeper throws it out, and I start the counter attack. Nice bit of play by Cavani, 
looking for the pass, looking for the pass, great through ball, keeper comes out, try to chip, and he clears it, I don't think it was going in anyway, but uh, he managed to get rid of it anyway, but then I come back with another counter attack, and a ball out to Mike Uzel, he was an absolute beast as well, with a great pass to Hernandez, who finishes it off, he's actually a pretty decent finisher, um, his shots... His shot stat isn't that high, but uh, he's actually a pretty decent finisher, I must say. And that was that for the first half. All in all, it was a pretty even first half. You'll see the stats now in a second. I didn't put much highlights from the first half in, just because the other shots that we had weren't really major shots. But then, here comes three absolutely atrocious goals. As you can see, dodgy deflection, dodgy save by my goalkeeper, and he gets a cheeky little header at the far post and then from the tip off I try to work my magic nice little back heel play it about a bit and he nicks the ball and then he proceeds to attack and Cavani has a shot I save it I try to clear it I boot it off my goalkeeper and it falls to a striker and what kind of a bullshit goal is that huh you no idea how much that goal hurt to concede look at this bullshit I try to clear it and my goalkeeper dives on me I thought I actually kicked it off my goalkeeper, but now looking at that, the goalkeeper dived on me. And then, guys, to be honest, I was just getting frustrated. I had a couple of attacks before this goal, and I just kept breaking down. I just, I don't know whether it was the momentum or whatever it was, but uh, he got a pretty decent goal, albeit bad defending by myself. But uh, I'd say a draw would have been probably a fair result. But uh, he did take that goal well, even though it was bad defending by myself. But then, straight from the tip off, I tried to repeat what I did in the first half and get myself two goals after he had scored. And I nearly get myself a goal there, but uh, he actually pulls off a very good block. And that's basically it for this match, guys. He ends up winning 4 2. So, unfortunately, we start this division again with a loss. But uh, hopefully we can improve the team, guys. And as I was saying in one of the earlier episodes, do you think I should sell my team if I lose? Which would mean I'd have to sell this Serie A team. So if you have any suggestions, if I should, and what team I should change it to, make sure to leave them in the comment section below, guys. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Bye.